We're hiking Grass Island at the northeast tip of Hong Kong, trying to outdo each other with our cameras. We go head to head in a drone and phone snap scrap. We're second in the series of our photographic challenge. I'm here with Nick. Hi all. Our professional photographer who's out to challenge me with my drone and phone today. One assignment, Nick. Just the one that's good. Yeah, and we're gonna go out to Tapman to Grass Island. And from there, we're gonna try and get some stunning pictures of this beautiful part of Hong Kong in Sai Kung. Looking forward to it. What a contrast after yesterday. Right, we've got a ferry to catch. Let's get going. See the cameras on drones and smartphones have rapidly improved over the last 10 years. But are they good enough to compete with a professional DSLR? In this series, we're putting them to the test in a slew of challenges around the Greater Bay Area. Nick is in Asia for the first time and has just five days to capture as many great pictures as he can. In this episode, we board a ferry from Wongshek Pier and head north to the beautiful Tatman Island. And today, the weather gods are on our side. A little bit of sunshine, beautiful island cloud in the sky. I mean, I think even you can get a good picture today. DJ, we got everything. We got everything. Once off the ferry, we walk through the old fishing village and down to the surf. I get ahead of Nick to get my drone in the air, but then I crashed the drone on my first flight and it's no longer usable. So it's going to have to work a lot harder to try and keep up with Nick now. Contemplating my predicament, I pinched in on the phone to try and catch some surfers at the point break while Nick took his time in the village. It's lovely, it's such a beautiful place. Yeah, yeah. And the village was really friendly. Yeah. Really welcoming, yeah. With Nick caught up, we walked over the headland through the natural grass fields that give the island its name, stopping occasionally to meet and snap the local inhabitants. Nick is slowly seeing the benefits of my lightweight camera bag. I'm never going to admit that the phone's better than the camera, but at times like this, the phone is more handy than the camera because it's hot, it's heavy. I'm used to having a camera stuck on a tripod in the studio, and it's only now, when you're walking through this heat, you realise how heavy the camera is. On our way back to the ferry pier, we take time to wander around the Tin Hao Temple and photograph the colourful flags from every angle. But before we had a chance to capture the butterflies... Ferry's going, got to go. How was it for you? How was the day today? It was fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. I, I, I came here with uh, preconceptions that Hong Kong is just high-rise buildings and busy and noisy. And, and it's not. It's, it's beautiful. It's absolutely lovely. Thank Just you. like a beautiful Hawaiian island today. Absolutely fantastic. Right, let's, uh, let's go back and uh, have a look at the pictures. Well, we had a great time at Grass Island. It was a really special day. We were incredibly lucky with the weather. I Absolutely. wasn't so lucky with my drone, which means I don't have any drone shots today, which would have been great. So advantage, Nick, on this one. Let's see what you've got. The surfing, I was very surprised to see surfing uh, on the island. The only reason I chose this photo, rather than, as we'll see in a minute, some crop pictures of the surfers themselves, was the fact that we got the lovely peaks in the background, the mountains, uh, and in the foreground, some rocks, some splashing water and the waves. Very nice, but I think I've got a better one than this one. Let's I'm sure you going. have. So then what I decided to do was zoom in on the surface themselves. So I like this one just because of the texture of the water. There's some lovely light uh, coming off the water itself. Um, and on the next one, we'll see um, some nice splash detail as the surfer, he stood up and the, the wave is, is splashing all around him. Yeah. And there's a feeling of... Uh, of, of richness around and, that and really good use of a, a telephoto lens which we don't have unfortunately on my phone i'm struggling with a wide angle and at best like a 50 millimeter there's no way i'm going to get this close there's another one at the end is there there is another one at the end and that was oh, as yeah. i said capitalizing on uh, something i don't think this has which is a true fisheye lens this is a, a temple on the island and uh yeah. I, I just took that with a fisheye well again i think i i'm going to beat you on that one let's I'm delighted for you. <laughs> Come in and let's find out where I got to. So we're starting here. So this was just an example of what you can do with a mobile phone now with this um, digitized bokeh out mm. of focus in the background. So this is... Uh, and it's clever. It's a very simple uh, picture. This is uh, my version of yours. Uh, okay, um, I think you had a little bit of foreground, but I, I think the waves are slightly bigger on mine. 
Still got the mountain in the background. Now this is as far as I could get with the zoom. And I did pinch the zoom as far as I could go without losing too much detail. It's okay, but it's not that close up like you've got. But this is really where I think, you know, as the, the phone comes good. Very sharp in good light conditions like this and we were able to really pinpoint these waves as they splash against the rock. This is a landscape here. And this was my version of this, which isn't with the fisheye lens, but it is with a very wide lens that comes on the phone. Uh, I think that's just cleaner. Uh, and the lovely yours, colours. Because we can see the figures on the doors and the colours just jump out. Yeah. So I'm, I think I've got that one. And of course, the guys with the hats, you missed that one. I think these guys were off diving on the, off the island and were taking a break. But it was a, it was a nice little opportune moment. And God, the water was so clear. So, so clear, It yeah. really was clear. Um, and I wanted to try and capture that. So um, I'm not sure who won this one. Um, I'm pleased with this one, uh, the, um, the rock off there, and I'm very pleased with this one. So I would put those two forward. But of course, we want you to have your say. We want to know what you think. In the comments down below, tell us which you think are the winning pictures. That's it for this week. Next week, another installment, Nick. Yep. We're gonna be doing something very special next week, the iconic peak. Uh, amongst other things, and a great fishing market too. Now, my name is DJ Clark. I'm Nick Moore. This is, is Drone Fun. Fun.